Hello, and welcome to another Trimble Business Center tutorial. Today, I will be demoing the all-new scan inspection feature in the new Trimble Business Center 570 release. The new scan inspection feature enables you to display positioning deviations between a 3D object, such as a surface, a mesh, a TRB, or an IFC model, and a point cloud region, or two point cloud regions. This command creates a differential color map, or in other words, a heat map, that graphically displays the positional deviations between the two selected objects in a variety of formats by applying keyed colors to the scan points. You can view the color map in graphic view and you can run a scan inspection report showing specified inspection points and the comparison deviation values. This tutorial will first cover how to create a scan inspection between a 3D object and the point cloud region then how to create a scan inspection report from that newly created scan inspection. And lastly, I will cover how to create an inspection between two point cloud regions. So now that I've gone over what we will cover in this tutorial, we can now move on into TBC. Here in TBC, I have a scanned project of a tunnel. What we're going to do is compare the scan of this tunnel to its design mesh to get an idea of the difference between the design and build of this tunnel. So going into the View Filter Manager, I will toggle on the tunnel's design mesh that was created around the alignment of the tunnel. Now that everything we want is toggled on in the view, we will go and open the Scan Inspection command. The Scan Inspection command is in the Point Clouds ribbon under the Deliverables section. With the Scan Inspection command open, Go ahead and open the Create tab. So with the Create tab open, you can go ahead and give your inspection a name. I'll give it Tutorial. For the inspection type, select Scan to 3D Object since we are comparing a 3D object to a point cloud region. Then I will go ahead and select the 3D object, which is the mesh, mesh in this case. For the point cloud region, I'll select the bottom of the tunnel. And then for the maximum distance for comparison, the maximum distance for comparison are the bounds for your inspection. Any point beyond that tolerance will be given a certain color that depends on the color map you choose. In this case, I will give a tolerance of 0.3 meters. Now that we're happy with all of the selections made, we can go ahead and press Save Inspection. So after a few moments, the scan, the scan inspection will finish loading. I'll go ahead and unselect from the 3D mesh and I'll also toggle it off in the view filter manager so we can get a better idea of what we are looking at. You can see here that every single scan point in our project has been allocated a color with respect to how far away it is from our 3D object, the tunnel mesh in this case. To get an idea of what these colors mean, I'll go ahead and toggle on the legend. There are two methods to toggle on the legend. You can one, open up the report tab. This will automatically make the legend appear on the right here, as you can see. Or you can, too, open up the Project Explorer, maneuver to the new Scan Inspection node, and right-click on your newly created inspection, and toggle on the legend using the Context pop-up menu. Now that we have our legend toggled on, I will show you how to create a Scan Inspection Report. The Scan Inspection Report allows you to specify points on the inspection to show their exact deviation. So now going through the report tab here, first make sure that the correct inspection is selected. Next, the name prefix window is what the prefix will be of any points you create in this tab. The coordinate pane is where you can create points to add to your inspection report. I will now go ahead and create a couple of points to add to the report. So far, I've created four new points. The green symbols shown in the view here reflect that those points have been added to the report. If you would like to add pre-existing points to the report, you can do so by clicking into the selection box and selecting any other points. Once you have made your selection, go ahead and press the Add button. And once you press the Add button, the green cross will be added to the point 
reflecting that the point will be added to the report. So now that we have all the points added to the report, we can go ahead and press Create Report, and a Word document will automatically be launched. So once Word opens, you can see that a preview of your last shown screen in TBC is added to the center of the report, along with all of your points that you added to the report, their northing, their easting, their elevation coordinates, as well as their deviation, which is the distance that scan point was away from the 3D object that you selected. So now that I've shown you how to create a scan inspection between a 3D object and a point cloud region, I will shift gears and show you how to create a scan inspection between two point cloud regions. Here, I have a scan of a high school. What I'm going to do is compare the following two point cloud regions. First, we have a wall, and then right in front of it, we have another wall. And I'm just what I'm going to do is compare the distance between these two point cloud regions. So once again, what you're gonna, gonna, gonna wanna do first is go to the point clouds ribbon under deliverables and open up that scan inspection command. Once again, give your inspection a name. And now this time, instead of selecting a scan to 3D object, I'm gonna select a scan to scan since we are comparing two point cloud regions. In the origin point cloud region, I'm gonna select the wall behind the wall, behind the other wall and then the one in front of it in the reference point cloud region. Once again, I'm going to select a maximum distance for comparison of 0.3 meters. And now that I'm happy with all my selections, I'm going to once again hit that save inspection. And then just like that, we now have an idea of the distance between those two walls. I can once again go ahead and open that legend to get an idea of what these colors mean. and. Now, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and create another report. And that is how you use the new scan inspection tool. Thanks for watching.